Hey kids, it's me again. Let me teach you how to value stocks. Okay, let's start. So what are stocks? Okay, so stocks are also investment securities. When you buy a company's stock, it's like you buy a piece of that company. You become a part owner of that company. And there is income sharing here in the form of dividends. Okay? So when you purchase stocks, you are entitled to have or to receive dividends. Okay? So we have two major types of stocks here. Okay, the first one is the um, preferred stock. Preferred stocks are just like um, bonds because preferred stocks provide fixed interest rates of return. Okay. Also, preferred stocks are stocks, so they have this um, ownership security. You become a part owner of a certain company when you buy the stock of that company, all right? And it has no maturity date. Kasi as long as you hold the stock, okay, sa'yo lang yon, okay? mag end lang naman yung position mo sa stock when you sell it, all right? Okay, we have this kanina. There are periodic payments, and those periodic payments are called dividends. Okay? Income sharing yan. Ibig sabihin, kapag kumita yung company, okay, isi-share nila yon in the form of dividends. Okay? Let's now have a second type of stock, which is the common stock. Again, it has ownership security. Okay? You become a part owner again when you buy a common stock. The main difference between a preferred stock and a common stock is the distribution of dividends, okay? Kasi dito, um, bago magbigay ng dividends sa common stockholders, babayaran muna ang bonds. Sabi sabihin yung utang muna nila, okay, sa so bonds, and then the dividends on preferred stocks. Tapos yung matitira, yun yung ibibigay naman sa common stockholders. Okay? Bad ba ito? Okay? Dahil huli tayo, least priority ang common stockholder. Hindi naman masama ito. Kasi if you are a common stockholder at sobrang laki ng kinita ng company, ang laki ng residual profits, ang laki ng paghahati-hatian ninyo. Okay? Lahat kayong common stockholders. Yun nga lang, Kapag mababa ang kita ng company, bumaba ang value ng company, baka wala nang matira na residual, walang residual profit. Okay? So, wala kayong ma-receive na dividend and that's possible. Kasi nga, uunahin muna yung payments sa bonds at saka dividends sa preferred stocks. Okay? So, yun lang. Now, let's start um, stock pricing. Okay? Let's um, let's start with um, pricing a preferred stock, okay? But before we do that, let's recall perpetual bonds. What are perpetual bonds? Perpetual bonds are bonds with infinite term, okay? They don't have maturity date. So, yung preferred stocks, they are just like perpetual bonds, Okay? Kasi di ba sabi natin kanina, preferred stocks, they do have a fixed rate of return. Okay? Tapos, it has no maturity pa. Okay? So, pwede natin siyang i-compare kay um, perpetual bonds. Okay? So, with this, it's easy to um, get the price of a preferred stock. Okay? So, let's say P is the stock price. So, to get P, the price of a preferred stock, all we have to do is to recall the Frank formula and we just let N approach infinity. Okay? Just get the limit of this um, expression. Recall that when we get the limit of V to the N as N approaches infinity, 
this becomes zero. Okay? Your V to the N becomes zero. So that's why um, your P, the price of a preferred stock, is equal to FR over I. Okay, why? Because your A angle N here is 1 minus V to the N all over I. And V to the N, okay, when you get the limit of V to the N as N approaches infinity, it is equal to zero. So that's why you only have FR over I. So pwede yung isipin, this FR, kasi wala namang coupon payment sa um, stock. So you may think this as the um, fixed dividend payment. All right? Okay, so that's how you price a preferred stock. Okay, let's now move on to um, pricing a common stock. What's the problem here? Okay, ang problema dito, hindi natin alam ang dividends. Okay, at saka hindi level. Why? Because yung dividends, um, they depend on the residual profits of the company. Kung walang residual profits, wala silang matatanggap. Kapag sobra-sobra yung residual profits, mataas yung matatanggap nila na dividend. Pag mababa or konti lang your residual profits, mababa naman yung dividend na matatanggap nila. See? So, it's uh, dividends are not level here. Okay? Pero hindi naman ganun ka-complicated uh, mag-price or mag-value ng isang common stock. Ito ang gagamitin natin to calculate the price of a common stock. Okay? So, to be able to get the theoretical Stock price, okay, we're going to use the dividend discount model. Okay, so what do you mean by DDM or the dividend discount model? This one is to get the price of a common stock, you just get the present value of the projected dividends. Projected means estimated dividends. Um, let's try to price common stocks here. Again, how do we price um, common stocks? We just get the present value of all the dividends. All right? Okay. Uh, let's consider example number one. Okay? So we have here um, dividends, D1, D2, D3, and so on. So magkakaiba sila, pero constant lang yung mga yan. Okay? To get the price of the stock na nagbibigay ng ganitong dividends, all you have to do is to get the present value of the dividend. So, you have D1, V to the 1, or V. D2, carry it to time 0. So, D2, V squared. D3, V cubed. Okay? And so on. So, if you let P be the stock price, P is equal to this one. Okay, don't forget that V to the K is equal to 1 plus I raised to negative K. Okay, so your I here is the effective rate of interest. All right, okay, let's have this second example. What do you notice? Okay, this is the dividend at the end of first period. This is the dividend at the end of the second period, and so on. So... Ang dividend naman ngayon is um, growing at a constant rate, G, right? So, ganun pa rin, to get the price of the um, common stock. So, ganun pa rin, to get the price of this um, common stock, okay? So, P again is the stock price. All you have to do is to get the present value of all this dividends okay so that's why you have dv and then d times one plus g v squared and so on okay and what do you notice you have an infinite geometric series okay hindi naman natin to first time nagagawin okay so you may recall our discussion about perpetuities all right so using the infinite geometric series formula you will get this for the price of a common stock. Okay? Let's try this third example. Sabi dito, 
um, using forward rates. So um, you have dividends here, okay, D1, D2, D3, and so on. So ano ba yung forward rates? Okay, so yung forward rates, um, ito yung notation niya, IN, N plus 1, this is the N year forward rate. So, ang ibig sabihin lang nun, mag-a-agree kayo sa interest rate at time zero. Okay? Pag-uusapan nyo na yung rate na yun at time zero. Okay? At yung rate na yun is good for one year only. Okay? Para lang sa isang taon. Okay? Okay. Kailan gagawin yung or kailan effective yung one year interest rate na yun? N years from now. Okay? So, N years in the future. So, for example, I have here I sub 2, and then this is 3. Okay? So, I sub 2, 3. So, ibig sabihin nun, ito ang effective rate of interest 2 years from now. Okay? Pero itong interest rate na ito, pinag-usapan nyo na at time, Zero. Okay? So, parang ito, itong I sub 2, 3. Okay? Yun yung effective rate dito sa portion na to. Okay? So, parang um, using forward rates, nag-iiba-iba lang ang interest rate per period. So, kunyari dito. Ang interest rate dito is I 0, 1. Okay? Tapos dito, Sa interval na to, the forward rate is I sub 1, 2. Okay? And so on. Dito naman, I sub 2, 3. Alright? So, ganun lang yung forward rate. So, to get the price of the common stock here, all you have to do is to get the present value. So, it's like D1, diba? D1, V. Pero yung I doon sa V, it's um, I01. Okay? Tapos ito namang D2, V squared. Kaso magkaiba nga yung um, interest rate. So, yung D2, i-carry nyo muna dito sa 1. Okay? Using I12. Okay? Tapos saka mo bubuhatin to time 0 using I01. Alright? So, yan ang itsura ng um, price of a common stock kapag gagamit tayo ng forward rates. Okay? Okay, let's now have this last example. Okay? Let's get the price or theoretical price of the stock. Okay? So, there is a corporation um, whose earnings increase by 2% per quarter indefinitely. And this corporation plans to give 40% of its earnings as a stock dividend. And then, at the start of a quarter, merong investor na bumili ng stock. Okay? And then, the yield rate is given, it's 10%, compounded semi-annually. So, we're asked to find the theoretical price of the stock if the first stock dividend is 2, payable at the end of the quarter. Okay, so let me draw a time diagram for this problem. Isang taon lang i-consider ko and then I'm going to cut it into 4. Okay? Sabi dito, the earnings of a corporation increased by 2% per quarter. So let's say... The earnings... Here, sa first quarter, at the end of the first quarter is E. So, sa second quarter, since nag-grow by 2%, it becomes um, 1.02 E. Right? Sa third quarter, it becomes 1.02 squared E. Right? And then, for the last quarter of the year, the earnings of the corporation is 1.02 cube E. Right? Okay. Now, 
magkano ang ibibigay na dividends? Sabi dito, 40% of its earnings. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kunyari, di ba, ito yung sa first year, or sorry, sa first quarter, ang earnings is E. You get 40% of this, yun yung dividend. Okay? So, let's get the 40% of E. So, I'm just going to multiply it by 0.4. Right? Tapos, for the second quarter, ito yung earnings. I'm just going to multiply it by 0.4, right? And so on. Ito yung earnings dito. So I'm just going to multiply it by 0.4. And then here, I'm going to multiply it by 0.4. So yan yung amount of dividends, right? Tapos anong sabi sa atin? How do we get the theoretical price of the stock? We just get the present value of all the dividends. So if I let P be equal to the price of the um, stock, ipo-present value lang natin to. Okay? Ganyan. Here, and so on. Diba? Okay. Pero, sabi sa problem, the first stock dividend is 2. So, ibig sabihin, Yung 0.4e, that one, 0.4e is equal to 2. So you may replace 0.4e by 2. So if we want to get the present value of all the dividends, so I'm not going to use 0.4e. I'm just going to use 2. So I'm going to have 2v, okay, plus I have here 04 E, right? So, I'm going to replace it by 2. So, I'll have 2 times 1.02, okay? V squared, right? And so on. So, plus, replacing again 0.4 times E by 2, okay? And then I'm going to copy 1.02 squared, and then you carry it to time zero, I'm going to have VQ, okay, and so on, okay, where V is equal to 1 plus J raised to negative 1, okay, but what is J here? Your J here is the effective rate of interest per quarter, or this is your I upper 4 over 4. Okay? Pero, kung titingnan ninyo, the given yield rate is 10% compounded semi-annually. Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Ang given is um, I upper 2. Right? So, you have to convert I upper 2 to I upper 4. Okay? Madali lang naman yun. Alright? Okay, so I will leave that to you. And then, if you compute for the price of the stock, you just apply the um, infinite geometric series formula, you will get this value of P. Okay? Please verify. It is 425. Okay, point ninety seven eighty one. All right. Okay, please double check the value. Okay, I think that's it. That's all for stock valuation.